guaranteed that I die legend. Yeah, sign God, homie, I'm revving. Great, just protecting my investment. Ask about me, integrity's not a question. Straight up, all the way up, with the same ones that was down from the jump. They were same ones, been around when they ain't fun. Even got me. up a big one, changed up like they break ones. Go on, you can charge it to the game. I'm all up in the photos, looking largest in the frames. Hey, keep high movement, I'm getting to the bag. All right, so we are at stop number two, the Tennessee River, and it's still in February. We're still here. It's like February 25th, I believe. Last day practice is today. It's still cold. It's warm today, but it's been cold. Water temperature is cold. Everything's cold. And throwing a river, the Tennessee River, into the mix, it's cold. They do their own deal, and uh, it's not going to be an easy tournament. It's going to be a grind for sure. It's it's uh, but the only thing we got going for us is a warming trend the weather's been been cooperative this week so that's good for once um so we're gonna you know roll with that but it's still gonna be you know whether you got to catch eight pounds a day or 28 pounds a day everybody still has to go out there and catch their fish so it doesn't matter whether you, it's really easy that then you're just worried about catching 20 pounds um so it is what it is we're just worried about going out there getting bites that's probably the biggest thing because I mean if you get a bite it could be a good one um, but it could also be a 12 incher or something or a 17 and a half inch smallmouth which a smallmouth have to weigh 18 inches so or measure 18 inches not weigh 18 inches see this place has already got me all messed up but anyhow we got a Got to put something together for tomorrow. Don't really know. Got a lot of rods on the deck still. Um, we're going to go grind it out and see what happens. I don't know what boat number I am yet, uh, but we'll figure something out and hopefully learn something after tomorrow to really clue us in uh, for day two because it's not been a good practice, but everything's changing. It's springtime, so take it for what it is. We're going to keep rolling, so see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, I know you probably, you can see me better now, I just can't see ahead of me. We're in the middle, downtown Knoxville. Parking's a little tight, so we're not filming the launch. <clears throat> um, Felicia didn't want to try to drive basically down and around the park at Calhoun's, which we're in the middle of the city right now. But day one starts today, it's a little bit warmer. We gotta go figure out how to put us put us some five decent fish in a boat and get through day one we got a super long day tomorrow check in at three today we got to check in at 4 30 tomorrow so really the goal today is learn as much as i can figure out you know what i've found out in practice what works what doesn't and then build upon that for tomorrow so i have a you know really strong game plan going into day two um, and learn some things so that's the game plan See you guys in a bit. Calm down before you stress up the groove. The energy a little different when the blessings are true. Ain't who you're talking to. Just know I ain't no regular fool. Could be anything in the world, but I could never be you. Because I had time like I'm on my tiptoes. Baby, you think a little too small. I got big goals, baby. Ain't where the money I Look, I just need the info. Pronto, I go and get it. It's split it with my kid folks, baby. And I'm the type of Change my number on you. Yeah, that's how you react when people took the slumber on you. Pretty brown skin, baby. I can see the summer on you. You see all the bread, and I know it makes you wonder, don't you, don't you, don't you? Ooh. I ain't surprised at all. See them rise and fall. Went up the mountain, it wasn't hard to climb at all. At the top, I found some relief. I finally got some peace. Carry on, but please don't mess up the wall. Yeah, I worked too hard for it. No, I need it, beat it for you.
City. I mean, we've had so many great ones, but to have everything all together, it was absolutely awesome. But this is going to be an amazing week here. Let's get rid of the For a motocross racer, get loud for a hunter trial. Here's your team number one, eight pounds, 15 ounces. He moves into third place. Limit of fish, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, being the first flight and we haven't, uh, you know, Shorter day tomorrow. We'll check in at 4:30, so I'm looking forward to that. Still staying out there. It's the best time to be fishing this time of the year. Being at the end of the day, so this place is tricky, but I feel like it's going to heat up. It's going to get better as the day goes, as the event goes on. Great to have you here. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Alright guys, day two, we made it into uh, I think 31st after day one. We got got our work cut out for us today. Got a marshal with me today, buddy Brad. We're gonna go out and try to do some work. Uh, it's gonna be totally different conditions though. We got a lot of rain coming in. Probably gonna rain all day. So it should be interesting. We're gonna give it all we got to see if we can slide in that cut make tomorrow. See you in a little bit. Get a hook in my hand for that one. Look at that one. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Don't get over excited. Over these 808s, but keep on the key, better stay away. I mean, for heaven's sake, 
I'ma be the best. Came from the endless. Playing with the games, with you with the chest. We beating on my chest, trying to get my rest. Watch me while I flex. Every win is a blessing, and every L is a lesson. So now I'm running to rejection. I know the soul of redirection. I see the blessings right beside me. The chances are quite unlikely. I do it like I'm in my Nikes. Don't make excuses, they never excite me. Boxes, boxes. I cannot fit in the boxes. Stop it, stop it. Oh, yes it is. Yes it is. I think it is. I think it's 14. He's long. <laughs> yes, baby! Yes, dude! Yeah! Two-time classic qualifier from Newcomer Sound, Ohio, Hunter Shryock. At 8.15 yesterday, 5 fish to add to that here today. 12 pounds, 11 ounces, gives him 21.10. And Hunter moves into 13th place currently. 21 anglers left to weigh in, and he's sitting in 13th place. I don't have an abacus to work it out, but I figure he's pretty good to go fishing tomorrow. Uh, you know, you're, this is a tough one, but you're having a great tournament. Yeah, I thought it was going to bite better today. For some reason, it, it kind of got a little stingy on me. And uh, But, you know, it is what it is. The bigger the bigger fish bit for me today, which helped out a lot. And uh, one of those bites goes a long ways. I mean, I fished Florida a week ago and didn't even weigh one of those in. So I'm pretty pumped. That's like a nine-pounder down in Florida <laughs> to have here. I mean, this place has got big fish, but for right now, it is. So uh, I'm excited to be back out there tomorrow, though. Great to have you here. Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Places y'all can't you can't be happy me even if we related for now I think we're getting bread from the bacon seven layers man I caught a getting cake up like a movie don't some things you couldn't make a jump and put it on the big I'm prepared for when I meet my maker till then it's nice whips no soap that's freaking cool I can go for broke cause you know that the fuck I ever put this way to go Tennessee, how's everyone doing? Ladies and gentlemen, it is semi-final Saturday here on the Bassmaster Elite Series for the second time this year. And we're going to whittle it down to the top 10. We started with 100 anglers. And now after today, only the top 10 move on. Hunter Shryock has 21 pounds, 10 ounces to start today. He's got five fish looking for 13 pounds, 2 ounces to take the lead. 11 pounds, 4 ounces, not going to take the lead, but he moves into third place currently. 
him a little love for former motocross racer Hunter Shryock. Hunter, this uh, there's some that are, that are real easy, but th this one, uh, this I mean, a great fishery, but a tough time of year to to hit it. And, and you did what so many were unable to do and are already on their way home for. Yeah, well, first off, we got a tough crowd because this is kind of some miserable weather. I, I know I've been out in it, but y'all are staying out there. Thank you for coming out. We appreciate it. But I got three things for this week. Berkeley Fusion 19 treble hooks, the new winch rod from Abu Garcia, and the Lorance Active Target. Completely saved my butt this week. I could see him on my uh, Active Target out there, cast my jerkbait out there to him. A couple of them. I never lost a fish all week. That's what really put me here today. Just to catch five, you had to get them in the boat. And uh, those new winch rods are phenomenal at handling them fish. So you gotta check them out. Thank you guys for coming out. Congrats on another great finish. All right, everybody back in the camper it is a wreck per usual especially after today because it's like everything's soaking wet so we're letting it dry out but we got inside the top 10 we got one more day to do some damage today was not easy i say the easiest day so far has been the first day pretty tough wife made me a steak dinner so we're good there we just got to do something tomorrow i'm probably going to do the same thing because at this point i've fished here for a week basically and have come up with whatever i have which isn't a whole lot but we've made it work every day and just like today is a little bit of a flurry it worked caught what i caught in an hour and then that was it so uh, it's basically happened every single day like a light switch they turn on and they shut off just like that so different conditions tomorrow it's going to be a lot of wind and it's warmer it's not going to get cold tonight it's only going to be like 60 as a low but i'll figure it out tomorrow kind of roll with what what's going on and we got to go shallow we can do that so see you guys in the morning i'm gonna ride it out what i've been doing i've been throwing that berkeley print side number five of shallow and then keeping that dirt bait on it out on the a little bit deeper edge of stuff where the fish are staking up back that's all i got i mean we're making a long run anyhow so i'm gonna keep my line wet when we get there fish as long as we can and uh I got them in my boat for a reason. They catch them. They go to Douglas and then they go to Cherokee and they go to Yeah, yeah. right there. But see it later. That's, that's a fish. I don't know what it is. Probably a, I would guess probably a bluegill. There's another one right there. Two-time plastic qualifier from a motocross racer from Newcomers Town, Ohio, Hunter Strand.
Six times he's been in the top ten here at Bass. He is a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a former motocross racer from Newcomers Town, Ohio, Hunter Shryock. Woo! Hunter Shryock with 32 pounds, 14 ounces to start the day. Fish here today. Jason Christie needs to come back and load the hot seat. Just he's new to this whole Elite Series thing. And if anybody can let us know that Jason Christie needs to come back here. Four pounds, six ounces. I just realized that because I realized you weren't going to take the lead. And I was like, well, we don't have a leader. And Jason, hey, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, he loads the hot seat over here. He's he's getting he's used to this of, system yeah, he's again. He's kind of stealing the show, isn't he? I mean, he's pretty good at that, catching him on the last day, like typical stuff. But now it's been a good week. I, I mean, the wind really, really hurt me today. I was using my Lawrence Active Target. Didn't really get onto it a lot in practice, but every once in a while I'd pan out. And I'd see a little strip of rock here or there. I'd take my jerk bait, throw it out there. Then Berkeley Fusion 19 hooks. I snagged probably half the fish that I weighed in. They just weren't, weren't reacting to it real well. But getting them in the boat using that new Ivo Garcia winch rod. Uh, but that active target totally made my tournament this week. And I'm not an offshore fisherman, uh, pretty dodo when it comes to getting off the bank. But it works for me this week because it was uh, it was pretty straightforward. It, it just so worked out the wind was howling right into me. And I just couldn't present that bait to him the way that it needed to be. So uh, it is what it is. You know, I'm still happy. I'm glad I put three days together instead of, you know, getting to the third day and something happening or, or whatever. So we're, we're going to build on that and hopefully get four days strung together here real soon. But I can't thank uh, everybody enough. Abu Garcia, Berkeley, Gator Guards, um, Power Pole, uh, Power Pole Charge. Oh, my gosh. It, my, I ran my batteries all day every day of practice and that thing is if you guys haven't checked it out it, it recharges everything so quick and my x2 power um, agm batteries huge huge deal i actually switched from lithiums back to agms and my phoenix boat runs another two mile an hour faster keeping that thing back on pad and it runs faster so doing 73 down the river is a fun time and uh can't wait to see uh the way this thing goes and thank you guys for coming out we greatly appreciate it and feel like we're getting back to normal Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen.